I like what Chodoin san said earlier about uh, Japanese TV. And of course, that applies to, to the media everywhere. It's designed specifically to dumb everyone down, just to, to laugh at, yeah. at whatever nonsense um, and not think for themselves. Yeah. And so is the education system. It's been designed to compartmentalize your brain. Everybody in the high level education system is trained to think inside a box not outside of that box a specific category of knowledge and thinking they don't want people to know what's really going on can i say one more thing yes Just one, one last thing and this is a little bit uh, different it concerns the the secret of the illuminati and the only other time i've been on video was with benjamin and what i said was that the great secret the illuminati are keeping is that uh, the abrahamic god is in fact satan which is of course absolutely true but we have known this for thousands of years, ever since the ancient Gnostics, that the God of the, the Jews, the Christians and the Muslims is none other, none other than the devil. The secret which the Illuminati are keeping is a very simple and straightforward one. The Illuminati is a very and we have waited 14,000 years for this time to reveal this secret. <coughs> we have survived every persecution by the old world order. <coughs> The secret is a very simple one. The Abrahamic God, the God of the Jews, the God of the Christians, and the God of the Muslims, Allah, God, and Yahweh, through their three books, the Torah, the Bible, and the Quran, um, that God is not God at all. Instead, that God, God is actually Satan. <coughs> the Bible and the Torah is uh, nothing more than lives, ancient lives, and these people who believe in these books from 2,000 years ago are deluded <coughs> and brainwashed and manipulated. For the purpose of being controlled by the old world order. <coughs> However, the real secret for 14,000 years that the Illuminati have kept protected is evidence which incontrovertibly proves the existence of a technologically advanced pre-flood civilization. I'm talking about Atlantis. They were on par with our own technology. And this has been totally erased from our history. And why has this happened? Well, well obviously, so they can so they can insert this this devil and and in in in, in that way brainwash and control the human race, which have which they have done exceedingly well. But we have, we have preserved this secret, and we have the evidence, and we will present the evidence, which proves the existence of Atlantis.
treat it. The inhabitants of Phoenicia might at first appear to have derived their origin from the same source pre abramite as the Hebrews, for they spoke the same language. Wow, how about that? Twink, what are you doing? Let's move on. Okay, so now we know that they speak Phoenician, yeah? Okay. But but Yahweh's not Saturn, right? Okay, let's move on. What does this say? Um, let's go here. Um, Baal is the planet Saturn. Baal is also the devil. And the Mohammedites of the 12th century after Christ knew still that the Meccan, i.e. Israel, is one of the names given by the Phoenicians in the latter days to Saturn. Oh, I, where did I get that from a comic book? You don't talk about the truth or, or, or out of real scrolls. Jag off. Yeah, I'm swearing too. Here we go. Let's move on. Ah, between the God of the Naz, uh, Na, I can't pronounce it. Sorry, guys. And the and the God of the Apelles, there is ev evidently a close relationship, and also it appears with Yahweh, the demurge of the Old Testament Saturn, the Black Star. Okay, the Black Star. Remember, Kabbalah is all cube and a black star, and you'll notice. What I'm putting in here from the <clears throat> Converse advertisement is a cube and a black star. No, no, Yahweh isn't Saturn. No, how could you ever come up with that? Let's move on to the next bit. Yahweh's essence. Yahweh was also at an early period represented by a serpent. Oh, you mean the same one in the garden? It's not a snake, it's time, which represents Saturn. A symbol of lightning. A copper god of this sort lasted even down to the time of Hezekiah and re was reputed to have been made by Moses himself. The seraphim pictured often as surrounding Yahweh were hardly other than the serpents representing the tortoise lightning. Okay, I obviously I'd never read anything. What's this say? Uh, the astrological Saturn has always been associated with the letter of the law because Saturn is the lawgiver. That's why the men in the courts wear black robes. Uh, everybody that is an authority wears black. Cops, rabbis, judges, priests, Catholic priests, SWAT, Nazis. Um, uh, rather than the spirit of the Gnostics and the early Kabbalists identified Saturn with the with the God of the Old Testament. Gee whiz, who did you see that coming? Whom they regarded as a tyrannical father obsessed with the rigid enforcement of the laws. And indeed, there may be very ancient symbolic link between Saturn and Yahweh. For Yahweh's Sabbath, or Holy Day, is Saturday. Saturn Day. Saturn's Day, a-hole. Enough. I've had enough of this crap. Yahweh is Saturn. Saturn is Satan. He's the God of laws. He's the lawgiver. He's the one that said he's the Alpha and the Omega. The God of the Old Testament is Saturn. Case closed. And this is my all time favorite. I just love how they take Jesus and they crucify him with three fingers out. Isn't that real nice of them? I mean, they couldn't stop with the story where when they were humiliating him of putting a purple robe on him. No, they had to, they have to go and make it with the three fingers showing. You see, isn't it how wonderful this is? Now, why are you seeing all of this stuff in the Christian church? Because there's no such thing. It's Masonic. The Masons build every church every every temple every mosque on the planet all of them shitty ass songs resonate at a certain frequency within the building that they're built because they create things and they bring things up and they make things happen within a certain space a lot of science involved in there more than you would know
בשמיים מספרים כבוד אלה, ומעשה ידם מגיד הרגיע.